Hey guys, Lisa here, and today's video is going to be a how-to guide for the new Elementals patch. I've been doing really well this patch, although I had a really rocky day one. So if you've been having a rocky day one, you can get a hang of it like I have. I have now hit over 10,000, nearly 10,500, and top 25 on the leaderboards. Here's all the things I'm going to go over so you can skip ahead to what you want to hear. I'm going to go over the new hero tier list. I'm going to go over tricks with the new heroes elemental builds of how you can build elementals out and elemental minion tricks as well as new leveling guide for how to level so let's start off by talking about the new heroes the first one i want to talk about is ragnaros the fire lord he is the best hero in the game right now tier one his average placement is 2.98 basically you're guaranteed third place or better if you, the second best new hero is Alakir. Alakir is a tier two hero. After that, the other two heroes that are brand new, which are Chenvala and Rakanishu, those are tier four heroes. I would not recommend picking them unless you want to pick them for fun, but they are not great. All right, tips to playing the new heroes. Let's talk about Ragnaros first. Ragnaros, you need to not be greedy in the early game because your job is just to kill off minions. You need to kill 20 minions before you get the ultimate boost of your left and rightmost minion getting plus attack and health. So you need to just play on curve, meaning you level turn two on four gold, you level turn se um, on seven gold, and you just need to be buying the best, most powerful minions every time. Don't try and force anything. Don't greed level. Just literally buy the best minions you can every single turn. Then once you have your hero power uh, set and ready to go, meaning Sulfurus, your left and rightmost minion are going to get plus four attack and plus four health. So you want to put minions on the far left and far right that would benefit from getting big. So what minions are those? Those would be anything with divine shield. It would be cleave. It would be poisonous minions, uh, stuff like that. Anything maybe with wind fury. So those are minions you're going to want to start picking up with Ragnaros. With Alakir, Alakir is the second best hero. He's tier two. His best uh, minion type you can go is beast because if you have Macaw first, Macaw with wind fury is quite insane. Uh, other good comps with him is getting something up front that is either large or poisonous. So you can go big demon comp with Alakir. That's actually really powerful. You can also just throw any sort of minion with poison up front, meaning a Murloc or a um, Amalgadon or even the new Spore, the 1-1 one -one Spore. You can put that up front in the beginning. That is good. Also, you can put in front uh, the new Wildfire Elemental or Cleave. With most comps, you're going to put things like Nazoth or Death Rattles in the front, like bombs, stuff like that. But with this hero, you're not going to. So if you pick up those Death Rattles for the front piece, make sure you also grab a Macaw. Otherwise, Alakir is just not going to be as powerful. All right, so for Rakanishu, my suggestions for him, if you do pick him, though I would suggest not picking him, but if you do pick him, uh, kind of treat him like an Edwin. When you hear a power, it randomly buffs minions. So you want it to buff uh, divine shields or cleaves. So think about forcing kind of a menagerie or a divine shield comp. And you don't need to hear a power in the early game unless there's nothing better to spend your gold on. But I would start hero powering maybe at eight gold and then again at 10 gold or later. Um, but there's not a ton of reason to hear a power early because in the early game, you're not getting very much value from the hero power. In the later game, you're getting way more. But keep in mind, Ragnishu is just like so underwhelming compared to Ragnaros. Ragnaros gets 8-8 stats for free. And Ragnishu can get up to 6-6 six, six stats, but it would cost 2 and you'd have to be tier 6. So it's just like so sad compared to something like Ragnaros. The last new hero is Chenvala. Chenvala is actually pretty bad. And I don't have a lot of tricks for Chenvala except for force elementals. Seems like the best thing to do uh, because it allows you to power level when you play three. And power leveling is actually really important right now. But even so, Chenvala is just weak. And I think this is because elementals in the early game are super weak. I don't even recommend picking them for the most part. I usually don't start picking elementals till... 
I get to tier five and maybe I'd pick up a crackling cyclone before that. But other than that, elementals are really weak in the early game. So picking them to power level isn't strong because you're going to be losing your turns. So I guess, yeah, Shinvala, I don't have much to say about him except for he sucks. All right, next let's talk about new minions builds with elementals. Uh, elementals just entered the battlegrounds, so there are some uh, new compositions you can make with them, and I want to talk about how do you make these elemental builds. There are two core pieces to making an elemental build. You do not need both. You need one or the other in order to force elementals, and that would be Lil Rag and Chef Nomi. So I want to talk about how do you build each board with Chef Nomi versus with Lil Rag. And let's talk about Chef Nomi first. Basically, you can pick up Chef Nomi if you get to him very early. You don't even need any elemental on your board. If you see a Chef Nomi and you're like tripling into a five drop and you're the first one to triple to a five drop, it's like very early in the game, then yes, pick up Chef Nomi. Once you have Chef Nomi, you're going to start buying every single elemental that you see. And when you purchase it, what happens is the elementals in Bob's Tavern grow by one one. So you're going to want to purchase the lower tier elementals first, then play them, sell them, and then end on your higher tier elementals. The elementals you want to end on are Crackling Cyclone and Wildfire Elemental. Those are the ones you want to be really, really buffed. And so you want to play the one drops first so that by the time you purchase the four and the five drop elementals, they are already buffed for you. The hardest thing about the Nomi build is that the minions in Bob's shop are going to be outscaling the minions on your board. So you have to be willing to just give up the minion you have to get something in Bob's shop because it's going to be bigger, even though it might be a lower tier minion because basically you're going to be scaling your minions in the shop. You could have one drops that are 20 attack, 20 health versus uh, an old five or four drop elemental you purchased a couple turns ago that's only 10 attack, 10 health. So you have to be willing to give up the elementals on your board to purchase the bigger ones in the shop and just keep switching them out and most likely not being able to triple them, which feels bad because it's very... Um, it's very different from how you're used to playing Battlegrounds. When you have a Chef Nomi build, another thing is that if you have two of them, there's a lot of board space issues. So keep that in mind. By the end, you probably need to sell one or both of them because by the last couple of games, the one you're top three or top two, it's going to be a very small minion, your Chef Nomi, because it's not going to scale. And so you'll probably just want to fill your board with the biggest, best minions. If you're playing the Chef Nomi build, uh, a great card to have on your board is Lieutenant Gar. I would not cycle him. I would keep him on the board because for each elemental you play, you gain one health for every other elemental you have. And so Gar is going to scale like crazy as you're cycling your elementals. So highly recommend if you do triple with Nami on the board that you have Lieutenant Gar and you keep him there. Also, I apologize now for my pronunciation of Nami slash Nomi. I, can, I switch it around all the time. I'm pretty sure it's Chef Nami, but I call him Nomi a lot. And I know I'm going to get a bunch of shit in the comments. So I'm going to say it now. I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't care. The other elemental build you can go uh, is Little Rag Comp. Little Rag is by far my favorite minion. Lil Rag is after you play an elemental, give a friendly minion stats equal to the elemental's tavern tier. So this has brought up some confusion. Basically, if you play a five drop elemental while Lil Rag's on the board, you're going to give five five stats to a random minion. It does not need to be an elemental that you give this minion to. So I want you to look at Lil Rag as if he is the new brand. He is a card that you just have there that buffs all your other current minions and they do not need to be elementals. Some people get to Lil Rag and try to force elementals. You don't need to do that. You can have cleaves on your board. You can have divine shield minions on your board because Lil Rag, as, when you cycle elementals, is going to buff those minions. So Lil Rag is like a new brand. So once you get to Lil Rag, my best suggestion is to purchase every high tier elemental that you see. 
You do not have to buy the low tier ones, though you can. Uh, it might be a waste of gold because what happens is little rag buffs a friendly element or a friendly minion of the tavern tier. So if you buy a one drop, it's only going to buff a random minion one one. So it's just not that great. But if you buy something like Tavern Tempest, a five drop elemental, it's going to buff something by five, five, and then it's going to add another elemental to your hand. So then you get to buff again. So very cool. So if you get to Lil Rag, I highly suggest finding Gentle Genie and Lieutenant Gar because Genie will give you more elementals to cycle. Gar, again, buffs himself and then can get buffed by Lil Rag. Um, you can also find Wildfire Elementals and Crackling Cyclones because those are nice when they are buffed, but they are not necessary. Also keep in mind your ordering when you're playing Lil Rag. Uh, you want to sell off all the minions that you don't want to get buffed because every time you play a minion, since a random minion gets buffed, good chance uh, it could hit it. So make sure you are thinking about your order when you play elementals with little rag on the board. I also want to talk about Major Domu. Domo? I don't know. Major sucks though. He I hate him. So he's the tier 463 elemental that buffs your leftmost minion 1-1 one, one for each elemental you play this turn. I think it is a waste of board space. It's not even an elemental. So I suggest not trying to force Major Domo. I think that the only reason you should be going in elemental comp is if you have a Chef Nami on board or if you have a little rag. So TLDR of elementals, do not force them until you find the tier five key pieces, which would be Nami or little rag. If you find Nami, you can transition into a full elemental build. If you find little rag, you can be either elemental or you can be menagerie. You can be whatever you want. Um, just cycle high tier elementals to get stats. Let's talk about minion tricks with the new elementals. Uh, first, let's talk about the tier one minions, Selemental. So Selemental is considered the token of elementals. Remember on turn one, you always want to buy a token. So if the Murloc or Beast token aren't there, I would highly suggest Selemental. The reason for this is on turn two, you're going to level and on turn three, you're going to sell and buy the two best minions in your shop, two two drops. And this will allow you to sell the Selemental and keep a two two on board. That's actually better than the other tokens because other tokens, you sell a one one and keep a one one or a two one. So this is more stats. So Selemental actually is really good on turn three uh, when you have five gold. The next minion is Refreshing Anomaly. Uh, a refresher anomaly is really cool, but you have to be very careful with it. So if you were to play refreshing anomaly on turn one, I highly suggest not rolling your board until seven gold. So what's going to happen is uh, you get a free refresh, but you don't need to use it right away like you do with Nas Dormu. You can hold on to it. So on four gold, you level on five gold, you buy two minions. On six gold, you buy two minions. And on seven gold, you level to tier three, can use your free refresh then and grab a three drop early. So now you're ahead on board. So most of the time you're going to be um, even with all your other opponents because you guys are all leveling at the same pace for the most part. And then you get a power spike because you get to an early three drop. Now let's say you're offered trash tier two minions. You can use this hero power early or sorry, this refresh early. Um, but th that's my suggestion is to wait to use it into an opportune time. Uh, party elemental, I really do not like early because it's just a two, two, and you can't really force elementals early unless your shop has two elementals in the beginning, like that in Molten Rock, I would not really suggest buying them, uh, for your tier three elementals. Uh, make sure you play stasis at the right time. Do not play stasis elemental if you have one gold left in your shop because then you won't be able to roll. Also, if you do not like the minion that stasis elemental gives you, you need to freeze your board and then unfreeze it because if it stays frozen, you will get it in your next shop and you will lose out on a shop spot. So you need to freeze the whole board, then unfreeze the whole board so that you do not lose out on a shop spot. 
Crackling Cyclone uh, for tier three is the best uh, tempo pick. It's kind of like a bronze warden. It is a really good tempo option for tier three minions. Whirlwind Tempest is a tempo pick uh, for if you're level to tier four because it has size. Uh, it does have awesome synergy with things like Zap and Crackling Cyclone. Also has synergy with the pirate, the six seven Siegebreaker pirate some other things so you can always consider putting whirlwind tempest in it also has synergies with alec here so if you get a macaw with alec here and um cauldron you can go insane with it so have fun with whirlwind tempest it can be tempo and it could be fun but for the most part it's not in a late game comp wildfire elemental does not do excess damage to the left or right minion if they attack into a divine shield because it only works if they overkill uh or if they kill a minion so make sure you don't have this first if you suspect your opponent has divine shield minions going on which should be late game when they have amalgadons or if they are forcing mechs all right so remember don't pick major domu i hate him and then for your tier five minions nami and little rag are your key pieces but you cannot switch to nami too late so keep that in mind early nami is great late nami is bad Tavern Tempest is the battle cry uh, minion, and he can give you um, he can give you Malgadons and stuff. I believe you have to be tier six in order to get the six drops, though. So keep that in mind. And Genie is pretty cool. A trick with Genie is that if you have a Baron, you'll get two minions. So if you need to transition into an elemental comp, consider getting Gentle Genie and Baron going, and then you can transition into more elementals. Lastly, I want to talk about my new leveling guide. Uh, the basic thing I want to say about this is that for this meta, it feels like tier five is super strong and tier four is pretty weak. So, so what you want to do is you want to level on curve. You want to level when you have four gold, when you have seven gold, and when you have nine gold, you level to tier four. And the next turn, 10 gold, you might consider leveling again to tier five and kind of just skipping over four because there's just so many key pieces are on five now. People are power spiking early. You need a power spike early. So I suggest getting to five faster. That has helped me incredibly. That is my guide to the new meta and to elementals. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I am going to be putting out a Millhouse video soon because Millhouse got a huge buff with elementals. So many elementals work to help Millhouse as a hero. So that will be out soon. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.